Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. In this short video I will show you how to replace cabin air filter on this 2003 Toyota Echo. So let's go and see. First, location. In Toyotas, the cabin air filters are hiding behind the glove box. Right, so first step is always deal with that glove box. Most of the time you have to push this side of the glove box inside, right? Squeeze it with the hand that it will clear these edges and you will get access to the, uh, the box, right? Which holds the cabin air filter. So I did that, right? This one wasn't attached on the bottom, it was just popped in, in these. So I was able easily, really quickly, remove that entire glove, uh, glove box right here. So let's see how you take that part out. Right, this is really easy, everything. Basically you come there, I don't have to even see it, and you carefully pull it out. But as you can see, this one is very dirty, so we will replace it. Now, here we have a brand new filter, right? To remove the old one, it's very easy. You just squeeze it out, pay attention, right? And put it on the side. This housing is clean, not much, so I will first go and clean this. And I just use the rag just to clean it off, since I want to have it perfect always right everything i will take this new filter out oh there are even instructions for you how to do that if you buy the same one but basically this flat is the bottom and the part which pops up right is the top so i just carefully start inserting it inside right there are little tabs here so you want to have it underneath those. I don't know if you see it. Yeah, you can see it. And carefully put it in. All right. As I said, I'm pushing it all the way down inside or underneath those tabs, right? In every, it's on both sides, right? Also here on this side. The new filter is installed in its holder. Let's put it back in the car. In this case, there is not even way to put it upside down. It's so obvious, right? And you just put it there. And did you hear these two clicks? That's basically secure it inside. It's perfectly done. I will do the opposite, right? I will just slightly push the bottom of glove box clicked and I just force it in right now, right? Did you hear that? Now the glove box is secured and we are done and i will say this is definitely so easy maintenance that i believe everybody can do it by themselves and not pay someone to do it for them thank you for watching this video and make sure you are subscribed because i have way more videos about toyotas coming your way very soon thanks for watching have a nice day my friend